what we've seen uh, is uh, one of the key learnings that we really had in going through these metrics is that there is a big opportunity to include metrics beyond simply the the value, the quanti- the, the numeric values. Um, so I think, you know, we would say it, go broader with your ESG metrics. And this is in terms of the types of metrics that you include. So also trying to assess this effort that's put in uh, and then also going deeper with the topics. So focus not only on the topics that investors and stakeholders are, uh, you know, have in their focus at the moment, but really try to align them with your corporate, with your company's strategic priorities um, and really include your managers and employees. You know, some of the ones that the, the topics that investors and shareholders are looking at now are not necessarily the ones where the vast majority of your employees can make a contribution. Um, so really try to find that balance um, of, you know, more than just a few uh, metric to ones that really will help you tell a broader story, include more of your uh, executives, managers, employees, um, and then also, you know, reduce a bit of your risk by focusing on two, well, only a few. Um, I think that would be one. The second one is that as you look to more metrics, uh, you know, the consolidation becomes uh, more important. Um, as you saw, there's a lot of there's a, it's a, it can be a bit of a minefield. Um, so you, you need some expertise and experience in, in pulling that together. Uh, we can help you. The panel participants can also support when it comes to things like target setting, et cetera. Um, I think that consolidation is, uh, is an area that uh, will certainly come into to more focus. Um, and I think the third one is really just join, join the panel um, so that we can keep this discussion going. Mm-hmm.